Hey guys, it's Sharon and I have a couple of hauls for you today. The first is from Amazon.ca, so Canadian Amazon. And uh, I'm just telling you that because I'm going to quote some prices and I'm sure that they're available in other Amazon countries, but I'm in Canada, so um, I, I want to make that distinction. And the second one is um, from Gina K Stamp TV. I have the new Stamp TV kit and um, some Cherry Lynn dies, and I'm actually gonna do a quick little review on those as well. So the first thing I got from Amazon, I think I told you guys in my last video that I had recently become a Prime member, and um, part of that decision was because um, right now the exchange rate for the States is just crazy. It's like um, over 30% right now, and plus the cost of shipping, it just really, it was really eaten into my crafty budget. So I Amazon has really, I'm loving being a Prime member. Uh, they have like amazing service and some of the deals that they get are unbelievable. And this first item, I really debated whether to show you guys because quite honestly, it's not available anymore and please don't send me hate mail for that. <laughs> I wanted to um, show it to you anyway because my point is what I do with Amazon is I keep my eye on all the crafty items that I want. Sometimes I stick them in my cart. You actually get notices when the prices go up and down. And sure enough, I had these in my cart and an amazing deal came along and I had to grab it. So this is the 24 of the Brusho. If you haven't heard of Brusho, then I strongly, um, I would say Google it. Go on YouTube and, and these are amazing. They're little pots of absolute um, spectacular color. So they come like this. There's 24. There's a ton in here. Like it's expensive to buy, but once you have them, I think they'll last a long time. And it's pigmented, um, really, really concentrated pigmented powder. And you can just do amazing backgrounds with them. And uh, maybe I'll do a little video on them um, in the future. But these typically, I think, are in the 120 uh, dollar price range. They are pricey for sure. And Amazon had them, whether you were a Prime member or not, they came from the UK, so it was free shipping. And I paid $63.86. So $64 um, from $120. Like it's almost half price. Amazing. So like I say, it's not available right now, but um, keep your eye out. And that's Canada, I'm sure, in your country, wherever you are. Uh, there's also deals and then um, I've wanted this stamp set for a long time uh, the Tim Holtz flower garden and I know that this retails for um, in the States about $24 and then you would be paying shipping I did check it is still available you do not have to be a prime member for the free shipping and it is uh, $20.38 these are Canadian prices guys so you're not adding on the um, American exchange so absolutely love it and then I got the ink tins, and I'm really, I can't believe I restrained myself and I only got the 24 tin, and I'm sort of regretting that. Um, if you are seeing these and you're sitting on the fence with them and you're not sure, because I really wasn't sure, and that's why I got the smaller tin, I love them. I highly, highly, highly recommend them. Not that these are works of art by any means, and this one's really bad, but... Um, how am I getting that? You can see that um, you can get pretty high pigment and that's like I just right out of the tin. So the learning curve on them is not as bad as I thought it would be. And um, the 24 tin you actually do get a lot of great colors if, if that's the way you want to go. I wish I'd got the 73 or 74 whatever it is size tin because it was also an amazing price. These typically retail for around $77, and they were about 46% off. Um, these were, were these prime? Yeah, these were prime. So I don't know what they would be. Um, I don't know what the shipping would be without prime. Sometimes that's crazy. So they were $37.73. So $38. Like, you can't beat that. So... Um, and I checked, they're still available at that price, guys, for Amazon Canada. So, amazing. And then I got the 
Um, new stamp TV kit, Sparkling Christmas. I love these kits. Again, I think if you're in Canada, they prove to be a great solution. Um, ordering cardstock can cost you the earth here. Uh, this is a great way to get everything you need. So I'll start with the paint. They always come in these stuffinators. Love them. Like I've said in my past um, videos, I do keep these uh, with my kits and then and then I disperse the, the kit into regular stock and you know I've got uh, little mini inks and um, stencils and lots of different things. So um, really uh, unusual colors in this kit for Christmas and I'm really traditional but I have to say I love these I thought it was super refreshing um, you get a full pack of designer paper and I think it's three of each sheet and you can see she does a good job of you know mixing it up they're not all super Christmassy um, these are beautiful and you'll see in the stamp sets there is New Year's stamps so definitely a great option for New Year's. Um, this one's really pretty and it's got all the colors of the kit. Really cute little Christmas balls. But see this one could be just winter. Um, I find that with Gina K stuff she really is very versatile love it all the colors again those are so cute and then um and these do come in a plastic guys i just took it off because it's way easier to to show you and don't throw this out because you can cut this up for sure and use it on your cards as well and uh then let's get to the good stuff the stamps so she does a really good job these are bigger stamp sets and they typically retail for $24.99 and so this whole kit, you're getting two sets, and this whole kit is $49.99. So basically everything else I'm showing you is for free. This set is gorgeous. I mean, that's such a beautiful, unique tree. Beautiful scripty um, sentiments that definitely can be standalone. Happy New Year. That's good for those of us that are late. And I think this guy is my all-time favorite. Like, he's spectacular, and he's so elegant. And then the jaunty little scarf and the little booties. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Like, picture them all sparkly. Um, and then this one, super cute as well. I mean, how cute are these little guys? I love the looks on their faces. <laughs> They're so cute. And then... Uh, some more trees, cute little snowman, and then this is fabulous because you get a border, you get this um, sort of circle shape that you can use um, a die or a punch, pop it out, and then any one of these with a, a border and a sentiment and your card is done. And I should just say, the sentiment she chose were really cute and I love it because they're inside as well. So this one says, may the holiday season fill your home with joy, your heart with love and your life with laughter love it and then this one I love it because you can break this sentiment in two or you can do both or you can do you know this one whatever you want so may your Christmas sparkle with moments of love laughter and goodwill and the year ahead be full of contentment peace and joy so that's great with the new year and then may this joyous new year bring good friends good fortune and good health so fabulous inside and out and then she did oh and you also in every kit get a binder sheet so great for storage she does not send these with typically you get they come with this index sheet um, to keep the cost down she opted to not go for packaging which is okay by me um, but you can download that sheet for sure and and it'll look exactly the same and then instead of doing exclusive dies in this one she did she uses a lot of cherry lynn these do come joined i took them apart and they're come very they're super fine to take apart like i basically just um twisted them and they came apart uh so i didn't even have to use my nippers and then i went ahead I have a big grease spot on my card spot that cardstock here they did not come like this but let me just I can never tell what dies look like I like to see them 
cut out. So I went ahead and die cut them for you guys. Because now they're all stuck together. But they're beautiful. And I'm quite impressed with the Cherry Lynn dies. I've never used them. Um, but they feel like there's a coating on them. And that's pretty intricate intricate and nothing was left inside here like nothing and it, it just popped out of the cardstock I did use a precision plate a Sizzix precision plate um, I used the big shot and it worked beautifully so aren't they gorgeous and it's probably not even picking it up on camera but there's even a little sort of dot detail so really beautiful and I think it's um, great you can use these year round and another thing that Gina does, and she doesn't have to do this, and you don't pay for it, but for, I think, not all the kits, a lot of the kits, she does uh, for people with crickets and um, uh, cameos and all those die cutters, she does SVG files for free. For free. So you can't beat that. So the cardstock in this kit obviously goes with the... Um, goes with the uh, paper. Jeez, I can't stop. I can't talk. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm trying to get out all the colors here. I'm making a mess of this. Really different. So am I getting them all in? So this might not pick up on the camera. This is called Edible Eggplant. It is the most beautiful deep deep purple looks amazing with the pear tart if you really are a traditionalist you do get the red and the green you get 23 sheets of her cardstock like that if that's not a full pack it's pretty darn close you get layering weight white and um, quite a few sheets I think four sheets at least of her Can you see how heavy that is if you haven't tried her her cardstock, honestly, you're missing out. Um, it's the best. Her her colored cardstock is I think 100 pounds, and her heavyweight, which I think you get um, four sheets in this kit, is um, 120 pounds, and it's it's just beautiful to work with. You can color with alcohol markers, and it doesn't bleed through. I just want to quickly go over the incentives this month as well. So she always does if you spend 25, 50, and then 75, you collectively get all of the incentives. And of course, I always spend enough to get them. So um, these are just pop dots. Camera's probably not picking that up. They're little snowflakes. I'll probably just use them as pop dots. Love these. Really cute little bag of uh, snowflake sequins really cute and then oh my gosh you guys I loved this so for the $75 you got like another it's not as big a paper pack but you got another little paper pack and oh my goodness these are cute they're um I think she calls them sweater <laughs> and they honestly I hope the camera really gets the detail in these they really do look like sweaters so fun this is hands down my favorite great for winter cards and um awesome if you have some guy cards to make so um i'll show you the other things i got to bring my order up to 75 i got this cherry lynn um die i've been wanting it for a while and i think it was 5.95 and again I went ahead and die cut it for you guys so that you could see it. How beautiful is that? And that, I mean, you could just put this on a card or, you know, if you're doing a beautiful brush o background, put that on and you're done. And then I managed to get myself some Allison dies. And again, these are from uh, Cherry Lynn. And uh, I'm not kidding, guys. She can't keep these in stock. <laughs> I mean, people on the site are getting, like, you know, a little frustrated because they she gets them in and they sell out. So if you go to her site and they're sold out, don't get mad at me. <laughs> but check her. She has on her site uh, stock update, and that's what I did. And I think the kit came out 
on the Thursday and these said that they were coming in on the Saturday and I took my chances and I waited and I got them and I was really happy I got them and I have to confess I got them more for the hype. She's used them on her cards but you know you only see them a bit so again I wanted to go ahead and die cut them for you because these are really unusual and I now realize why she can't keep them in stock. They're $24.95 and I cut them out for you. Look how many dies you get. And I did them in two different colors because, so this is, and when you cut them guys, they stay in one big chunk and I would strongly suggest, um, if you have a precision plate, these are really intricate dies, so if you have a precision plate, uh, good, go use that. If you don't, I would make your um, die cutter as tight as you can don't break it but put it put it pretty tight and then when you get it out um, I literally just took my pick while it was in like take it out of this there wasn't a single not a single piece left in these they just popped right out all of these were full and I thought, oh my goodness, I'm going to be here all night. But I literally just ran my pick and everything popped out. Word to the wise, I would do that over a garbage. I didn't think to do that and it looks like I've had a wedding in my art room. So, these are super cool. I know no one's using ribbons anymore, but these are ribbon dies. And they just, to me, they're going to add that extra little whatever. Um, when you need something to your card and the idea I did them in two different colors I'm getting smart in my old age so that I can show you how they work so the idea is that you I mean the possibilities are endless you can take I'm missing one and I'm missing my favorite one hmm don't know what I did with that one there is another little one, so there's even one more to this. But you can take these, and you can, you, I, of course, you, you can use them on their own. They're all beautiful on their own. But the idea is that you can lay ribbon over ribbon. Isn't that cool? I think it's so cool. I can totally understand why um, everybody wanted them so desperately. And there's the one that's missing in white but I love that one as well really pretty really pretty and I, you know what I thought these would even be fun to just do down like especially this one down a whole make it your whole background like textured would be great anyway guys that's it for me thanks for hanging in um, let me know if uh, you subscribe to any kits, if you do, which ones are your favorites. And uh, if you've tried Stamp TV, uh, great. I'd love to hear what you love about it. And if you haven't, I really do highly recommend it. So um, thanks, for, thanks for hanging in, and we'll talk soon.